Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page six, page six. So we're gonna start by putting um, two three quarter inch strips. This is three quarters inch and there's two of them on each edge of our pocket page. <clears throat> Oh, and I forgot to mention, I put a half inch tick mark in because that's where the flap is going to go. So I've got a tick mark on the top and bottom to use as a guide when we install our flaps. There we go. Okay, now we've got a flap to install on the left and right. These flaps are four and a quarter by eight. Four and a quarter by eight. My finger got stuck, sorry. Yikes! It went in crooked, I hate that. Oh, I tore my paper on top of it. Good grief. Oh, that's so frustrating. Sorry, thank goodness for uh, my spatula. I'm going to glue this down. I am not going to replace it. But I am going to remove my excess glue so it doesn't squeeze out from under. Most of this is going to be covered. Just a tiny bit is going to show. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, there's my half inch mark. There we go. There's just a tiny bit. You really got to look hard to find it. Everything looks flush. Okay, let's do the side. Try not to make that mistake again. Here we go. Got our left and right flaps. This is our upside. So the next thing we have is a belly band. So I found my center line um, on the base, and then I also found my center line on the belly band. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna install one side And then I'm going to get this base ready. And then just before I put it down, um, I'm going to take this tape off. So I do need to ink it. Let's 
so I did the same thing on uh, page three. I did three inch strips. So the piece, uh, the black piece in the middle is what's gonna be underneath the belly band. So I didn't have to waste that designer paper that won't show anyway. It seems after looking at what's left, I probably would have had enough, but it's always better to be safe rather than sorry. Now before I drop the top all the way down, I'm going to straighten it left and right, hold it up, and then we're going to take off our tape and put this in. I should have taken off the backing before. There we go. Okay. It's a little different technique than what I did on page three. Both of them work. Okay, here we go. Here is the paper for the belly band. Patterns and solids. Patterns and solids. The belly band is three inches wide by nine inches tall. You're gonna score half inch on either end to make your belly band. Whoops, we need magnets. Okay, magnets. Sorry about that guys, two magnets. If I work quickly. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna have to put some tape on it. Okay, now let's get the magnets on here before I forget. At least I caught myself before, before it was really burnished into place. For this side, I've chosen this honeycomb pattern and then this black and white pattern. So these are two and a quarter inches each, um, and then I'll trim this down to fit, and that was just based on how much paper I had here. 
So two and a quarter on the on page three, I think I made them two inch strips. So really to look around in your scraps and see what sizes you have. That's just what I had left of this. And if you're building in the same order as me, you should have at least this, perhaps more. Of course, you can choose an alternate. That's the one nice thing about color blocking is you don't have to preserve a whole bunch of large pieces. Your little pieces are very useful. Now, before I put in this um, pattern that has a direction on it, I'm going to verify that I've got my pocket page turned the right side up so I don't put that print in upside down. It is the right orientation. So now we'll just trim this down to fit. Okay, beautiful. We're going to repeat that process on this side. Again, these are two and a quarter inches tall.
Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're going to put a 7 by 8 insert. And I'll come back to this and we'll cover it after we see what's left. Um, we've got a couple couple more pages to do. This is page six. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add pockets to the top. These pockets are five and a quarter by four and a half. Five and a quarter by four and a half. You're going to score a half inch and three and three quarters. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Half inch and three and three quarters. Rotate at 90 degrees and score half inch. And these are going to go flush on this surface. Flush with the bottom edge of the flap. I should have dry fit this first. It looks fine. Okay, dry fit it. Okay. Housekeeping. Okay, so we've got our pockets in. Let's finish. Everything is right side up. Okay, so this is the pattern that I chose for the bottom pocket. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, and then I chose these green uh, sheets, and these are, this is from the Patterns and Solids. This one is actually a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be. It won't slip inside the pocket. That's going to be fine, but it does mean that I want to have glue on all four edges. I won't have a leading edge that goes into the pocket.
there we go it's looking good now there's two inserts just like on page three so this is the flip side of one of the ephemera cards and then this is another ephemera card um, this is from the uh, Patterns and Solids. This is from a cut apart from the 12 by 12, and this is also from Patterns and Solids, which is essentially the same pattern as you have on the top here. These fit right into this pocket, like so. All right, so we still have to decorate our insert, but I'm, I've yet to figure out what to do here. I gotta figure out what paper is left. Okay, that's it for page six.